Thank you for coming to my channel and watching this very, very special episode. I am making a traditional, popular Vietnamese dish. If you don't know already, I am part Vietnamese. I said, I said that word. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. I'm part Vietnamese. Yeah, so I grew up eating Vietnamese dishes. I wouldn't say I am super Vietnamese. I definitely didn't grow up Vietnamese. I'm more American. I am going to make bung ba hue. Bung ba hue. There's no kh. Bung ba hue. I don't know. It's my Spanish, like, the kh. Bung ba hue. Bung ba hue. Bung ba hue. I am making that. Um, sorry if I butchered it. It is a very long process. I found a recipe that sounds really good and authentic. Let's get cooking. So I just read through the instructions very carefully prior to doing anything only because I really, 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 really don't want to mess this dish up. So the first thing it wants me to do is add 12 cups of cold water to a pot and then add in my meats and let it cook or boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. Adding my meats. So I have pork hock, which I learned is like the back leg of it. Ugh, it kind of like looks disgusting to me, not gonna lie. Ugh. And then I have beef shank. This is a very large piece, but we will cut it later. And then I have beef bones is what the recipe called for, but I got beef short ribs. So I'm gonna add those. Kind of gross. So medium high, medium heat. I'm gonna put it at like a six. Ew, I feel like I just cross contaminated. Okay, I need to be extra careful with this. I'm gonna clean that. Yeah, so now I just let it boil or go up to a boil and then let it go for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so while that is going to a boil, I'm going to prep some of the stuff that I need for my broth lemongrass all right here and it wants me to remove any dry leaves i guess that's dry is this dry i don't know i've never worked with this discard of those i want to keep two thirds from the bottom right there wow that was hard to cut what the heck with a blunt object smash the lemongrass stock to release its oils i don't want to do that yet because i want to wait till i can add it to the pot peel the onion and cut it in half discard discard oh my ass Ooh. where are my goggles it's just a little bit i'm good i'm good i'm good peel the garlic and keep it intact so i don't have whole garlic unfortunately my mother ugh, these onions my mother had a great suggestion is putting the garlic in like a tea dipper thing which i have here is my tea dipper i don't know how much one clove is there we go and I'll just let it sit in this bowl because all the juices are coming out already. Thanks for the suggestion. Add the ginger slices. I don't know if it wants me to peel the ginger. It just says four slices of ginger, which is not a lot of ginger. I'm just gonna add that. My eyes. Discard. My eyes. Maybe I need water. I don't know how that would help. Next, sugar. I need two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. I need five, I don't know how to say this. Kiffer, lime leaves. Kiffer? No, it's not kiffer, there's not an I. Kiffer, lime. You will see that right down below. I hope. It says lime leaf. It doesn't say kiffer lime leaf. But that's all they had at the Asian store. So I'm just gonna go with it. It says five, but I'm gonna go crazy and do six. Done. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of those. Star. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it sounded like you said anus. <laughs> Star an an anus anus anus. Star anus, and I only need one to two whole star anise. They smell interesting. One to two. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of these. You know what I saw Gordon Ramsay do? He put this in his rice when he was making it. I mean, I don't really eat rice anymore. A shrimp paste, a fourth cup, fourth cup of water. I heard that it gets stinky. Should I open this right now? <laughs> <laughs> I should not. Fish sauce. That whole fiasco with the pad thai. I knew I had it. Oh, that's why. It comes off so easily. I just wiped it. The expiration date. So remember in my video, I was like, this doesn't have an expiration date. I didn't know it goes bad. But it wipes off. How am I going to know when it goes bad? It's all red. Definitely not anywhere close to a foil, so that's fun. I'm gonna make the sate chili sauce right now um, because I have time to kill and I don't want to wait any longer. I need, don't know how to say this, annatto seeds. Hot duan moi. One tablespoon. Hot dio mao. Hot dio mao. Hot. Hot demo. Hot demo. Hot demo. No, that's not how she said it. Hot demo. Hot demo. I need so hot demo. Boom. Done. I need seven tablespoons of oil. One, seven. Two tablespoons of chili flake. Is this the same as chili flake? Red crushed peppers. Well, we gonna find out today. Can you see my face here? Here. Oh, that's cool. One. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. That's gonna be so spicy. One tablespoon of lemongrass finely minced. How do you finely mince that? That? Is that a tablespoon? Three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna wait for a second. Three shallots. Finely minced. Do shallots act like onions and hurt your eyes? I feel like I've already asked this question, but I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. Three of these? No way. Three? Ew, this one's ugly. Boom ba hui hui Boom ba hui I think it's affecting me. Boom ba hui what? That reminds me of the music she would listen to. <laughs> I feel a little delirious. Like I need to take a nap. Now I understand her. I so tired. I cook all day. Is that how she sounded? I know your pain. I cook all day too. Ooh, my eyes. Mis ojos. I feel like that's finely minced. Slash I'm lazy and I don't want to mint. My eyes. Oh, I still have another one. <laughs> I thought I was done. Boo! My eyes. But that looks like an alien. Oh my God. Dude, my eyes. I can't. Mother coming into the rescue because my eyes and my arms hurt. <laughs> Give us your best grandma impersonation. You hungry? I made you full. You want to eat now? I made you full. <laughs> oh, I cook all day. I'm so tired. <laughs> you don't laugh at me. <laughs> I know crazy. <laughs> she would say that all the time. Be like, Grandma, you're crazy. Be like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, the sad truth was she actually was. <laughs> Bless her heart. All of this yucky stuff is floating at the top, so I'm going to take it all and discard of it. It's like, I don't know what it is. I think it's like blood and like 
just the nasty stuff of the meat so we're essentially cleaning the meat right now and getting all the gunk that's floating to the top out because we don't want that in our soup it's gross i know i'm sorry but that is the vietnamese way so i'm gonna make the saute i don't remember i'm the worst with words i'm gonna make the chili sauce i'm gonna put my oil in my pan just to stir it for three to five minutes and i have my annatto seeds i think i'm gonna put those in and i stir it for three to five minutes hey google set a timer for three minutes part of me thinks the oil should have been hot In a saucepan, set the stove to medium heat. Add the natto seeds and stir it in for three to five minutes until the oil turns bright red. Yeah, I guess we're fine. It's splashing on me. Okay, I'm going to discard of my seeds. How? Without discarding <gasps> the oil? How do I do it? Oh my god, my shirt's going to get ruined. Put it on the back burner. I don't have an apron. <gasps> Will it burn it? I hope not. <gasps> that was weird. Like as soon as I poured the oil, the film or whatever, like shrunk. Add the chili flakes, the lemongrass. Oh my God. And toast it in the oil for 10 minutes. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. Sure, 10 minutes. Starting now. Do you think that's three cloves? Ah! If I get oil on the shirt, I'm screwed. <gasps> I did! I need an apron. My meat is done being cleaned. So I'm now going to dump out all this yucky water. <laughs> it wants me to clean it off with water now to get rid of all the scum and gross stuff still. I have my little colander and I'm going to put the meat in it. I'm going to put the meat in piece by piece. Our short ribs. Gently clean off any more scum, any more yucky stuff. So Pups with Chopsticks created this recipe and I just found her on Instagram and she literally just posted about this dish yesterday and I said I was going to make it today which is really cool and she replied to me saying like good luck, I hope it turns out great or something. Um, but I was reading her like blog post about it and she said it is a labor of love which is definitely true because this takes forever you just have to let it kind of like sit and all the flavors build up and everything so yes this is definitely taking a while to make but I am very excited for the end results the last piece all right now that all my meat is clean I am going to put everything together and start making the broth. In order to make the broth, I need to first, so I've already like prepped all the things for the broth. Now I'm just gonna add it to the pot, add some more water, add the meat back, and let it cook for about three hours now. Yay! So this is with a blunt object, smash the lemongrass stock. I'm guessing that's what you do. That was really loud. A whole onion, ginger slices, my sugar, my leaves, and my star a nice, a nice, I'm pretty sure. 12 cups of water. Set the heat to medium low and keep it at a low rolling boil. Add the fish sauce, four tablespoons or oh, the shrimp paste. So I have a fourth cup of water and I need to add one and a half tablespoons. I'm so scared this is gonna smell nasty. Stir, add it. It wants me to stir it, I think. I'm just gonna stir it with the lemongrass. It wants me to taste it. Literally just taste watery. I do need to put all my meat back in. Hey Google, set a timer for one hour and 30 minutes. Sure, one hour and 30 minutes. Starting now. I feel like the broth. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I don't 
don't know if that helped. I have two minutes left on my timer and I just realized that I did not add the garlic. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna remove the beef shank out of it and I'm gonna set it aside and cover it. And then if it needs, I'm gonna add more broth, but I don't think it needs it. And then I just set the timer again. I'm gonna taste it though, like the broth. I don't know how the broth necessarily tastes. Ah, oh, it's hot. I don't know. I think it needs to be salt here. Hey Google. Turn off. I'm gonna add the rest of this sauce because I only did half of it earlier. Okay, well you all just saw that, so I changed my shirt. I need to pull out my my beef shank. I'm trying not to splash anything again. And it wants me to cover it. The smell of this is taking me back so much to my grandma's house. Oh my gosh. Hey Google, set a timer for an hour and a half. Starting now. See you then. I am going to cook my noodles now. These are for this specific dish. It wants me to boil water and then I add the noodles and I only cook it for about four to six minutes. And the recipe says to follow what the instructions on the noodles say, but just subtract one minute from it. My water is boiling. I'm only doing a small bit of noodles because my bowl is so, my pot is so small. My grandma would do this when she was cooking noodles all the time. She would wet a towel and keep it over the noodles. And I'm pretty sure that just kept them from drying out. Okay, so I'm on to my next batch of noodles. I'm going to prep some of these things real quick. Thinly sliced onions. I'm like kind of rushing this. I honestly think that is enough. I need to try a noodle. It's not done. The recipe wants me to cut this meat. I'm not exactly sure how to cut it. I'm cutting. I'm just kind of cutting everything in half. Just so like it's bite sized, but also like it seems like I have more. Mmm, it's done. Ah, oh, that's hot. I did not finish recording the end of my video, and that is because my family came and they were very loud and very obnoxious, so I just cut it right where it was. Didn't get to film a outro to my video. So I'm doing that right now. Here are some photos of how the soup turned out, how it looks. It was so delicious. My mother said that it reminded her of her mother's cooking, my grandma's cooking. It was just a bit spicier, but still. It was a great dish to enjoy with my family. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I sincerely enjoyed every minute of it, even though it took six, seven hours. Wait, did it take that long? It took a long time. It really took me back, reminded me of my grandma, and I loved it so much. If you guys have any stories about how food just takes you back to a memory with friends, family, anything, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. Also, if you would be so kind as to subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell notification to get notified when I upload every Wednesday at 8 o'clock a.m. Also, if you like this video, please be sure to like that. I always say that, like that like button. Maybe that's just gonna be my thing. Anyways, hit that like button. No, I think I like, like that like button. 
I will see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you so much. Bye.